Hello wonderful people, welcome to the last part of the Viaco Artcraft Taylor Shapes review. Before I start, I want to apologize for the missing video last week. My partner Dante and I went on a little vacation to visit family that we didn't see in for over a year due to COVID. It was a great trip and we even managed to hike a little. There will be a video about it soon as I want to share with you the wonderful things we've seen. For a little preview, you can check out Instagram, where I posted some photos of the hikes. In previous videos, I already reviewed the monochromatic set and the earth color sets of the art graph tailor shapes. These are water-soluble pigment blocks. The swatches, including the pigment information that I got from the company, I've already added to the database. The light fastness is currently being tested and I'll update the database as soon as the results are ready. The primary set is actually the last one that I bought and solely because I like the other sets that much. Initially I was, it wasn't a set that spoke to me as much as the others. To your information, in today's video I will not only review the primary set but also the red and green which come extra. You might wonder why as in previous sets, rest, red was included in the primary set. This seems to have changed now, and the primary set does include a magenta instead. When ordering, the listing still said red, so I ordered a magenta first. was confused and had to get a red separately to finally have all the colors, so I'm left with two magentas now. So if you're getting this set, check which version is available in your shop, as the older ones have red in the primary set and the newer ones include a magenta. I'm not sure if sets with the red are still available for purchase in the shops and when the change happened. Knowing this, I created two color mixing wheels to show you the differences as well as a mixing chart where you can see all the mixes of the, these five colors. All of these images will be uploaded to Kofi, and you can find the link down below so you can take a closer look at the mixes. The biggest difference in the color wheels show, shows in the purples. While with the red you will not be able to create a nice and vibrant purple, it's possible with the magenta in the mix. The muted purple mixed with red is still nice and usable. It's totally possible to create a blackish neutral with these colors which I used for one of the test paintings. These colors red very easily and it's easy to load your brush with pigment. The colors are more transparent than I expected in the wash, but can be opaque when applied in a thick layer. This was welcomed per, a welcomed property when I used them on toned paper. Creating the swatches, something weird happened though, and I'm not sure how to explain it. The yellow and red did dissolve the waterproof marker I used to create a black line. This is something I was able to recreate, so, uh, recreate several times with different drying times of the marker and this was a marker I used hundreds of times on, for other paints too. The other colors of these sets did not dissolve the black. That was also the reason why I can present you a clear swatch for these colors in, in the transparency test. A pure water did not dissolve the, water, uh, the marker either, so I'm not sure what is causing that. When it comes to lifting, all of these colors are staining with the red being the least staining of them all. In the dispersion test, the colors all did well and did flow, while a more concentrated blob stayed on the place of the application, some of the pigments did flow far. From all possible mixes, the green and red turned out to be my favorite as they created a nice muted grey color that was great as a black. I also was taken by the golden colors I created with a tiny bit of red and the yellow and the sapphire blue by mixing a little bit of magenta into the blue. In general, the set is a decent mixing set. 
and thus create a wide variety of colors that make painting a great experience. The tailor shapes, shapes feel easy to use and I felt comfortable with the set. When it comes to the packaging, I wish the singles would come in a single cork, cork casing too. That way I could rearrange the sets and would use the graphite one from the monochromatic set as an all-time sketching block on my desk. If I were to choose a favorite set from them all, I still would choose the earth colors as they appeal to me the most. As for the primaries, it's a good mixing set, but I didn't feel as drawn to it as to the other sets. This impression stayed even after trying them out, but it's clearly not the fault of the set. Especially as, I got, as it got improved with magenta, it would make a great, a great sketching set or a great set to practice mixes. If you have tried them, I'm curious to hear your impressions. Leave them in the comments down below. Again, check out the Kofi gallery if you are curious about the swatches and mixing charts. There you can also tip me to support the channel and the watercolor database sunandcolors.com where you can check your paints for light fastness. Thank you for watching, have a wonderful day and I hope to see you soon. Bye!